This is part three of my sexy arms so you can wear tank tops and sundresses and tube top workout. <laughs> That's the name of this workout. So um, the next exercise we're dealing with are the biceps. The biceps, a lot of women don't like working out the biceps because they think that their biceps is going to grow and start looking all big like a man arms. Don't even think about that because your arms will not ever get that big, trust me. Um, I've been doing bicep exercises forever and my arms has never gotten that big. So, um, But you do want to tone the biceps also. And this, I'm using uh, a barbell, but you can also use dumbbells with this same exercise. It's like you get in a squat position, spread your legs apart, maybe a little more than shoulder width, squat down, rest your elbows right in between your knees. And you can also do this with dumbbells. This is working your biceps. It's like a reverse, reverse curl. You know, usually you do a curl like this. Well, this time we're going to put the palms down and we're going to put our thumbs on the same side of the bar as the fingers. So check this out. See how I grab this? My palms is like facing towards my body. And put your thumbs on the same side as your fingers. And you do not want to bend your wrist when you're doing this exercise. You bring it up towards your chin, back down. Controlling the movements, don't let it control you. And this is for the biceps. This next exercise is a tricep exercise. Now, me, I like working my triceps a little more than my biceps. Because for some reason, women just carry more fat back here in the tricep area than the bicep area so I'm always sort of self-conscious about this I hate oh my god I hate for this to move now you're gonna have a little movement in it but just the jiggle oh my god that is enough to keep me with my sleeves down to here so I have to keep that worked in order to be able to wear like tank tops and stuff because that's the worst. I mean, oh my God, I hate it so much. So um, this is a tricep exercise. You can do it on the floor or you can do it on a bench. Now, if you're on a bench, you're supposed to have your feet flat on the floor. But of course, if you notice this, I cannot have my feet flat on the floor because of this gap. So I have to put my legs up. Some of you will, some of you will not. It's up to you. But I have to have that connection and you need that connection also with your lower back to the bench uh, or the floor. Now with this exercise, you're going to grasp a dumbbell and make sure your palms is facing towards your legs. And you're going to raise this arm and bring this dumbbell over to the other shoulder. So, and that's keeping your elbow in one position and trying to not move it. So it's like a hinge going down touching that other shoulder and bringing it back up.
and you will feel it in these triceps. You will feel this exercise instantly. Notice I'm keeping my elbow in one position and I'm controlling these movements. The more you control a movement, the more benefit you get out. You get really no benefit out of just letting something down. You get something, but not as much as you would if you control these movements. You sit on a bench or a chair upright. You bring the dumbbell down behind your back and make sure you keep this elbow in one position. You don't want to move it all around. Keep it here and you bring this up. 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 And this is working the triceps. Slow control movement. 